This is a story of Apollo. It's a story of finding the love of those who may love you. And by the look of his face, he may feel loved. Like many other dogs, he has spent time in the pound. He was once the dog on the other side of the fence, wanting, waiting, wagging, hoping to be taken home by those who may love him. Now, he gets to spend his time in leisure and comfort, doing as he pleases. He waits patiently for his newfound sister figure, Lola, to be harnessed before they go outside. He knows if he waits, he will be rewarded. Both run in to find their treats waiting for them. Yes, they live a life of simple pleasures. They get along as brother and sister, and they show a relationship that mimics those of human siblings. While he is older and bigger, and she is smaller, he plays with her, but in a way that shows that he is dominant and that this is his house. As with humans, the little sister figure does not like that. She nips and bites, but in a playful way. Not to annoy, but for attention. And he plays back. As with most younger siblings, she wants what he has. And so he goes ahead and plays with her to give her attention. Yet, while it looks like violence and looks a little rough, it is a simple relationship. As with siblings, she wants what he has. And so he teases, showing that this is his and that she can't have it. It's a simple relationship that often Im mimics those of humans. While in the wild, he becomes more about territory and less about simple leisures. If he finds a scent that interests him, he must check it out. It may belong to another dog or another type of animal. Wherever it is, he must identify it and then mark his territory as his own. Another scent of interest has found him, and as stated before, this is now his land. His playful nature and his curiosity bring him to explore his surroundings. There is no scent that should not be tracked with freedom of the wild outdoors. In his wanderings of the wild, he comes across a fellow dog. And while the relationship with Lola has developed into that of a brother and sister, that has happened over time.
In order to show that he is not a threat, Apollo lowers himself and welcomes the other dog. When coming across another dog, they must first check each other out. While it looks strange, it is a way of gauging personalities and knowing who they are. It is almost as if giving each other a handshake. And while it may look like an act of aggression, it is sheer excitement in which they lunge at each other. And after the initial meeting, the playfulness resumes. Just as with people with chance meetings in the world, this friendship was a short one. And he looks on longingly as his newfound friends head home. Curious of the two dogs that are now leaving, he trails after them, only to be distracted by a new scent. Could it be another dog? Could it be another animal? Whatever it is, it has found his attention greater than his new friendship. Unlike the dogs in the wild, there is no need for a formal introduction with those that he knows. This is the house of Trouble the Pitbull and Charlie the Akita. And while they already have an existing friendship, he must first gain permission to enter. While there is no formal greeting, he still is slightly on edge. Not because he feels unwelcome, but because of size. He's a decent sized dog. He's still greatly bigger. So he hides by the wings for safety until he feels once again completely comfortable. He follows his newly formed pack downstairs to where they have more room to play. Trouble plays with his own game. And Apollo, being used to Lola, longs for a bigger dog to play with so he can show his strength. While the relationship between man and dog is one of friendship, accidents do happen. Gabe, now injured, sits out and lets the dogs play amongst themselves. Charlie, feeling as though the other two are getting too rough, takes his lead. Apollo plays with his little sister. Even though he may prefer to be solitary and play amongst herself or with the humans, she feels as though she must be involved, and so he lets her. He's careful not to overdo things and not show strength in a way that could be threatening. He simply lets her have her way, as any good older brother would. He tugs and pulls just enough to show that he can, but not enough to show force. And when he gets tired, he lays down and takes time to play on his own. And Lola being Lola, feels the need to do the normal little sister thing and continue to annoy. <laughs> 